Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 5 of the Idol Master Cinderella Girls under 149. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, hold on. So I gotta ask this because I don't really remember. She already has her solo, right? Yeah? I mean, cause you, you know what? Let's check real quick. I have to put the song on mute, of course. Um, because I don't need any copyright strike claim from Bandai Namco. So give me a sec. <laughs> No. Yeah, no. So we might hear it today. Okay. Nice. Well, baby, she's not the typical kid who wants to play. Yeah, what about you two? Aww, you cheer? What's up, Risa? <laughs> oh. They went to go play. Reese is not in the sports. You know what it kind of gives me? Like interstellar vibes. I mean, the movie is called Outer Stellar, so of course it's interstellar. Baby, you can't marry your own dad. We know that. 
ever since I started like seeing her in the game, and I was like, oh, she's cute, and I learned more about her. I was like, girl. <laughs> but it's just because she's so passionately in love with her dad, but she just scares him so much. Mm-hmm. What was the last movie you saw? Mm hmm mm hmm Oh! Nice! Prism of Hope. Is that me or the Prism of Hope thing kind of gives me like Ruby Starlight vibes? So just let her do it. Help. Oh. She's studying for a part. Mm hmm No, oh, baby, you ain't gotta be rude. Yeah, but to her, it's still not enough. Go on and read it. You never know, it could. Again, hard headed baby. <laughs> Which one? A, um, a leopard? A, a plush leopard? I mean, because you have that in like your first perm. She's literally making me want to get my nails done, and I kind of do. I've been wanting to get my nails done like the last couple of weeks between that and my hair.
but that's so great when you have a mom who loves to do nails. We hope. Like he reads them. Oh, damn. Okay, that's still good, though. Mm -hmm. And you, 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 that's an opportunity. So just say yes to it. Uh, she wants to be treated like an adult and not a child. Oh my god. What if he fell? <laughs>
I love how she's getting so annoyed with him. I also do love the fact that he talked about two girls that I'm also producing and such. Even though it would be nice to show them. Especially Kayane. Yeah, you gave me the poster last week. But I need the person. The character. Okay. Just try.
They could have showed her. They could have showed her. But they said no. Right. <laughs> they could have shown her once again, but they didn't. Yeah, he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, honey. Sure. <laughs> Honestly, that was a really good episode. Okay, hush. We're hushing. We gotta listen to the song first. Why isn't this song in this game? Bandai? Why isn't it in the game? It's a bop. <laughs> Gee, it looks so adorable, I can't. <laughs> I mean, cause like Hina, Hina has hers. Where's, excuse me, where's hers at? Where's Reese's at? <laughs> that was cute. Mm hmm. Very, very adorable. Okay, so I mean, mm. This was a very interesting episode. I mean, because, like, yes, when I first um, got into Miss Unvoice Risa and wait years before she got a voice and, and I read more about her, I was like, girl, you serious? Like, mm-mm. <laughs> I mean, I get it, yeah. You love your dad, but, like, there's a line. Like, you want to marry your dad? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I think the more I... um. I, I see more of her cards and such because I think I, I think I have two and I think it's both of her perms. So the Phantom Thief one and then her initial that she used before she was like, oh, I'm going to be Prime Minister and such. Um, I'm about to go back and check. But yeah, the song was not bad. It's really good. It kind of really gives you Shiki vibes, like especially with Shiki's um, first solo song. We're waiting for the day that Shiki's second solo gets on the damn game because Jesus Christ. <laughs> but still, it was a really interesting thing. I mean, this episode was very different for the fact is, yes, she's known as a, you know, Garu-esque idol as a child and such. And so she wants to be that popular girl in this role. But unfortunately, she, she didn't get it, which hurts. Rejection hurts a lot. But I love the fact that the producer was still able to say, hey, they still want you. But they don't want you as the main heroine. They want you as 
the secondary character, which is still just as good as the main character. Not the the best role or the role that you wanted, but at least they still thought of you when they thought of this character and what they wanted to possibly do and who they wanted for this person to be acted as and who could, who should get that role. I really do love that because it said that, yes, yeah, she really has potential to go far. I also love the fact that you have my vampire my queen, she was in here, but she just didn't show her face. You could have shown her face, show. Y'all making all these nice little pictures of all, you know, ev almost every single girl, unvoiced or voiced, at least, you know, and I get it, you know, we're, you're scrapped for time, and they could do it in the, um, the Blu-rays where they actually give maybe more scenes like extended scenes and such where like some of these saves do come back and voice the characters because like okay yes as a say they have multiple jobs and you know it's just like okay let's do this like this for an example we're on the last day of sun fest and such and so the girl to, i think it's tomoe i think that's her name redhead the little the little redhead girl her i think her name is tomoe i'll have to go back and look um who knows when she, her say you was announced that she was getting a sim fest and stuff. Out of all the people, I wasn't expecting her. There were a lot, but I think because of the fact is the numbers are kind of dwindling down on, you know, Blanc sim fest, not Noir. Um, they're trying to get at least every single girl who is currently voiced as of now a sin fest. Like, for me, for the girls who I produce, the only Sinfests I have, I have both Kaede's, of course. Um, Mizuki just got hers, and Shin, I've had Shin's for at least since it was announced. Like, it was the last week of October, and it was either October 30th or October 31st is when she got hers. I remember, and that was when, you know, we got to wait at least three to six months for a sin fest and not every two to three weeks for a sin fest. Um, and so that's another reason why I think that is also why we're trying to hurry up with the two weeks instead of like going from, oh, hey, you get three to six months to save up as much as you want to do a sin fest, whether it's Blanc or Noir, but officially with Noirs now and, and Blanc sin fest, it's like, no, you're not waiting three to six months anymore. You're waiting about two to three weeks. And so sometimes like, even now, like, one of my friends, the other person that I got into the game, he has more gems than me. And I've been playing the game longer and such. And I think it's freaking nuts. But he, I'll say one thing, because, of course, probably when he watches this, he's going to know I'm talking about him. Um, okay, so when Mio, when Mio finally got her, um, her noir, like, at first, we, we were talking about this. And it was just like maybe what, mm, good couple of hours before, and I and we were like joking and such. And, and it reminds me. Okay, first let me no, let me tell this story about me. Okay, so when Noir first started, everybody was wondering who it was gonna be, how were they going to start this? It could literally be anyone. And me, I'm like, yeah, you're right. It could literally be anyone. So, thirty minutes. And this was when it was time change. So this was like a, like 1 o'clock in the morning. So it was 12.30 going on 1. 30 minutes before I was sitting here. I'm sitting here laying in bed. And I'm like, <laughs> what if it's Kaede? And then I was like, oh shit. What if it's Kaede? So I start having a panic attack for 30 freaking minutes. And I'm like, okay, we're going to know in 30 minutes who this first Noir Fest is going to be. And lo and behold, it was my best girl. And I was just like... Mm. I, I, I barely had gems at the time. So, of course, she did not come home. She didn't come home until Anastasia got her fest card, which was the best day because both of them came home. That was a good day for me because I cried and I was just like, thank God. But now, flashback to a couple of weeks ago where we were on the War Fest again. And, you know, we knew the last one out of New Generations, it was Rin. And so we were talking about that. And I was like, bruh, I bet you. Like, 
it's going to be one of the new gen girls. I was like, if it's not Uzuki, it's going to be Mio. And if it's not Mio, it's going to be Uzuki. They want to complete it, complete it very quickly. Because initially, I thought that they were going to do the same thing like they did with Blanc, where they had all three of them together in one for that Simfest. No. So we're waiting. We're waiting. I'm just, I think I was, I was waiting for him and such and we're, we're talking and everything so finally um he, he was hanging out i was in my room chilling and i was like okay it's two o'clock we gotta figure out who it is i open up and mind you i get like twitter notifications and, and stuff about like who it is like sometimes instantly and sometimes not so i was like all right it's two let me check gotta see who it is and it was mio so i instantly text him and i'm like oh <laughs> this code red, code yellow, code passion, and we're freaking out and stuff. And we're just like, oh my god, because it's a it's a gorgeous looking card, like a very pretty, beautiful card. Like if you compare it to her, um, her Blanc, her Noir is better, like straight up. And I feel like, and I've told this in before, and I've said this, I've had conversations with other people like this, where it's like they. They upscaled the Noir cards. Like, yes, the Blanc cards are really gorgeous and pretty. But there are some Noir cards where they are better than the Blanc. And then there are some, there are others where the Blanc is better than Noir. Now, unfortunately, you are one of them. Because I don't really like that card. It's a cute card, but I think when I looked at her Blanc for the first time, I was like, God, that's gorgeous. And then you looked at the Noir and I was like, it's okay. I was like, mm, no. So now when you look at uh, Rin cutting in and out, I'm like, eh, no, babe. That's enough for me. I mean, but yeah. In the end, long story short, he got me out and we were celebrating. But going back into this episode, I mean, this was really sweet. I love the fact that, you know, this was all about her and wanting to, you know, prove that she, you know, wants her father to see her in in a certain way even though it's not gonna happen baby like yes your dad loves you but your dad will never love you in that way and such but she still wants to try and this girl will try her damn hardest and to be freaking prime minister but like yes i can marry my papa and my mama girl okay I still love you, though, even though your dream. Keep your dream, your wildest dreams, baby. But she's so precious. But now, if I have a little prediction on who I think would probably be next week, since this was Rena's episode, I feel like they're going to do Hina next because they are in a duo together. So it would make the most sense for it to be her, and especially with the way the episode ended, it had these two talking together, kind of almost indicating that, yes, she is going to be next. But who really knows? I am also hoping that next week that someone else, um, some of these popular idols, do make an appearance. I would love to see another unvoiced girl also making another appearance some way, shape, or form. But, I mean, yeah, it was a very interesting episode. Um, once again, just waiting for that solo to come on there. Who knows? By tomorrow, it could possibly be in the game. We know that Beyond the Starlight, Reese's version, will be in the game. So why don't you make it a double? But at the same time, they just recently released somebody else's solo. So I don't think they're going to do that. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, though. But who knows? Other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 5 of the Idol Masters Cinderella Girls under 149. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 6. Bye, guys.